Sunday, April the 21st, 2024. The fourth Sunday in Easter, year B. Welcome to Evening Prayer. Stay with us, Lord, for evening draws on and the day is almost over. Thanks be to God, who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Hear us, O Lord, for your mercy is great. We will exalt you, O God, our Savior, and praise your name forever and ever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Father, we come together in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Redeemer, to offer you our worship, praise, and thanksgiving. To you belong all power and glory. You are the source of all goodness. Let our worship be a witness to your peace and saving power. Through your Spirit, may we ever rejoice in the abiding presence of our risen and ascended Lord. Amen. O gracious light, O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, Now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the wills. Lord, We pray to you for the forgiveness of our sins. Have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. In your compassion, forgive us our sins, known and unknown, things done and left undone. And so, uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in newness of life, to the honor 
and the glory of your name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Grant merciful Lord to your faithful people pardon and peace, that they may be cleansed from all their sins and serve you with a quiet mind. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The psalm appointed for today is Psalm 103. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. He forgives all your sins and heal all your infirmities. He redeems your life from the grave and crowns you with mercy and loving kindness. He satisfies you with good things and your youth is renewed like an eagle's. The Lord executes righteousness and judgment for all who are oppressed. He made his ways known to Moses and his works to the children of Israel. The Lord is full of compassion and mercy, slow to anger and of great kindness. He will not always accuse us, nor will he keep his anger forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our wickedness. For as the heavens are high above the earth, so is his mercy upon those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As a father cares for his children, so that does the Lord care for those who fear him. For he himself knows whereof we are made. He remembers that we are but dust. Our days are like the grass. We flourish like a flower of the field. When the wind goes over it, it is gone, and in its place shall know it no more. But the merciful goodness of the Lord endures forever on those who fear him, and his righteousness on the children's children, on those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments and to do them. The Lord has set his throne in heaven. His kingship has dominion over all. Bless the Lord, you angels of his, you mighty ones who do his bidding and hearken to the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all you his hosts, you ministers of him who do his will. Bless the Lord, all you works of his, in all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, it is now and shall be forever. Amen. The first reading is a reading from the Word of God, written in the Book of Wisdom, chapter 1, verses 1 to 15. Love righteousness, you rulers of the earth. Think of the Lord in goodness, and seek Him with sincerity of heart, because He is found by those who do not put Him to the test and he manifests himself to those who do not distrust him. For perverse thoughts separate people from God, and when his power is tested, it exposes the foolish, because wisdom will not enter a deceitful soul or dwell in a body enslaved to sin. For a holy and disciplined spirit will flee from deceit and will leave foolish thoughts behind and will be ashamed at the approach of unrighteousness. For wisdom is a kindly spirit, but it will not free blasphemers from the guilt of their words. 
because God is witness of their innermost feelings, a true observer of their hearts and a hearer of their tongues, because the Spirit of God has filled the world, and that which holds all things together knows what is said. Therefore those who utter unrighteous things will not escape notice. And justice, when it punishes, will not pass them by. For inquiry will be made into the counsels of the ungodly. And a report of their words will come to the Lord. To convict them of their lawless deeds. Because a jealous heir hears all things. And the sound of grumbling does not go unheard. Beware then of useless grumbling, and keep your town from slander, because no secret word is without result, and a lying mouth destroys the soul. Do not court debt by the error of your life, or bring on destruction by the works of your hands, because God did not make death. He does not delight in the destruction of the living. For he created all things so that they might exist. The generative forces of the world are wholesome. And there is no destructive poison in them. And the dominion of Hades is not on earth. For righteousness is immortal. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Magnificat My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in you, O God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. You, the Almighty, have done great things to me and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you. From generation to generation you have shown strength with your arm and scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have sent away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise made to our forebears, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The second reading is a reading from the Word of the Lord, written in the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verses 18 to 29. Dear children, this is the last hour, and as you have heard that the Antichrist is coming, even now many antichrists have come. This is how we know it is the last hour. They went out from us, but they did not really belong to us. For if they, be, for if they had belonged to us, they would have remained with us. But their going showed that none of them belonged to us. But you have an anointing from the Holy One. And all of you know the truth. I do not write to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it, and because no lie comes from the truth. Who is the liar? It is whoever denies that Jesus Christ, that, that Jesus is the Christ. Such a person is the Antichrist, denying the Father and the Son. No one who denies the Son has the Father. Whoever acknowledges the Son has the Father also. As for you, see that you have heard from the beginning remains in you. If it does, you also will remain in the Son and in the Father. 
And this is what he promised us, eternal life. I am writing these things to you about those who are trying to lead you astray. As for you, the anointing you received from him remains in you. And you do not need anyone to teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about all things, and as it as and as that anointed is real, not counterfeit, just as it has taught you, remain in him. And now, dear children, continue in him, so that when he appears, we may be confident and unashamed before him at his coming. If you know that he is righteous, you know that everyone who does what is right has been born of him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Song of Simeon Lord, now let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people. A light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning is now and shall be forever. Amen. The Apostles' Creed I believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son of alone. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. The Suffrages Lord, reveal your love among us, that we may know the joy of your salvation. Grant peace within and among all nations, and teach our leaders wisdom. Endow your church with faithfulness, and her servants with knowledge and true godliness. Defend, O Lord, the rights of the poor and the oppressed that your justice may be known among all people. Lord, renew your spirit within us, that in us and through us your will may be done. Collect for the fourth Sunday of Easter. O God, whose Son Jesus is the Good Shepherd of your people, 
Grant that when we hear his voice, we may know him who calls us each by name and follow where he leads, who with you and the Holy Spirit lives and reigns, one God forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Sundays O God of peace, you have taught us that in returning and rest we shall be saved. In quietness and confidence shall be our strength. By the might of your Spirit, lift us, we pray, to your presence, where we may be still and know that you are God. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Prayer of Dedication Almighty God, we thank you for the gift of your Holy Word. May it be a lantern to our feet, a light to our paths, and a strength to our lives. Take us and use us to love and serve all persons in the power of the Holy Spirit and in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us evermore. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.